hello everybody this is just a real quick little video um, about a preparedness idea and I've been using these for several years uh, I couldn't find enough or the ones that I wanted to use uh, so I just grabbed these so that I could do the video and this is emergency lighting right here okay so again these people in California with electricity cut off for weeks at a time we're talking about millions of people and then we just had these really high arctic winds and uh, ice and snow and this is a good preparedness uh, thing to have on hand in the event of an electrical outage and this is also safe this is something that children can use and uh, elderly and not worry about burning themselves or a fire or anything like that and all it is is it's solar lights and what you do is you just get you a cheap candelabra this one this was actually very expensive by goodwill standards because it's solid iron and I got it for, I think it was $7.99, very high end. And the the solar lights are just a uh, dollar each. I got those at Dollar General. So I actually wanted some prettier ones, uh, ones that had more lumens. Now that's very important to get ones with more lumens and then it illuminates better but i just picked these up today uh we don't have any bad weather that i i think would cause a utility outage except that the grid may become overloaded for people using their electric heaters electric thermostats electric blankets things like that to keep warm that could happen or just an isolated outage so you keep this in by a window and they charge all day long and you can use a single sconce you can use a candle holder an individual candle holder or you can use a candelabra and like I said these are safe so what you do is you let them charge in a nice sunny spot and then and it's not gonna it's not gonna overwhelm you with its light but this is something that you can use in the event of an outage now these are the very cheapest dollar solar lights now you can get them with a different glow the soft yellow or uh, a warmer light and then the lumens are what you look for and the more lumens it has the more light it casts off like the ones I have out in my yard have more lumens than these do but with these um, things that are happening I wanted to bring you a preparedness idea that could save you from just stumbling around in the dark trying to find a flashlight trying to have batteries for your flashlight if you need to have like a single candlestick you can hold it and these just sit right down in that holder now if you got one uh, that was not a snug fit here you could wrap electrical tape or masking tape around the bottom of it uh, or I have made some for the outside where I just hot glued them in and this one will actually uh, usually stays out on my front porch table and so that is something that you can use for yard lighting as well but it concerned me that I need to get all my preparedness ducks in a row now one little side note everybody's doors froze today here in the south and I had to go around giving lectures to everybody uh, when it gets this kind of weather where you think your doors may stick 
you can get some of that WD-40 or spray lubricant and you can coat your gaskets inside your door and your door locks. But something that I found better is just Vaseline or baby oil. And it'll last a little bit longer. It'll coat it real good. So your doors won't freeze too. And last year, I'll tell you a little funny story. I couldn't find my Vaseline anywhere. I actually don't remember getting any in a while. And so all I had was some Vicks Vapor Rub. <laughs> so I just went out with my Vicks Vapor Rub and I coated my door seals with it. Well, not only did my doors not stick, but my sinuses were clear for several days. So I wanted to give y'all a couple little weather, winter weather preparedness tips, uh, no electricity, grid damage tips. Uh, so I'm going to put this in my prepare category that I'm making. And I hope all of y'all are staying warm. Uh, this is the time I'm... I'm just going to pan on over here. Uh, I put a curtain rod above my door. And I have heavy drapes over my door. And that keeps the drafts out. I'm just old school like that. There's no need. There's no need to have high electric bills. There's no need of it. If you do a few things for preparedness. Now, you can get door drafts. You can get window drafts. You can roll a towel up and stick it underneath your door. You need to find these things now before the weather does start getting more severe. Wear socks, wear fuzzy house shoes, get you some flannel blankets. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Those fuzzy ones that they have out now that are like fur. Let me tell you something. You will get warm and comfy under sheets made out of that stuff. It's a, it's a fleece type stuff but I want everybody to be warm and to be safe and and to take care as we're having these severe weather that come come and go this is a cycle it happens all the time and uh, today I pulled up a uh, the history of weather in Tennessee and where some records had been set and these things happen uh, they've been happening since the dawn of time. You'll have a cold, cold, bitter winter. Then you'll have a mild one. You'll have an early snow. And then you'll have heat uh, on up till, I mean, I've grilled out in shorts on Christmas Day. So uh, I don't want y'all starting to think of end times and stuff. For nobody knows the coming of the Lord. No man knows. No person knows. Nobody can predict that. So don't be worried about end times. What you need to be worried about is how you're living every day and how you can live better. And this is with our herbs. This is one of my little mullein and wild lettuce uh, swags that I have for decoration, but I can also use it. But to have you your preparedness tools ready so that you don't have hardships so that you can endure poverty and hard times and to do so with a glad heart so i hope everybody's warm out there and you're healthy out there until next time god bless you all goodbye